Hello Samiyas, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video, we are going to learn what are assertions. Assertions are used to validate the response, the result, either in JMeter or in any coding. Let's say in JavaScript, we have to validate whether the result we got is 10 or not. We write an assertion. Like that, we can add different assertions in JMeter. Without any further ado, let us start the video. So now guys, let me create a thread group. So thread group, I'll write assertions. So I'll take only one request. So for that, I need a config element csv data config what i'll take from this so i want this data so i want uh, in my previous videos you would have seen i've used this api to get the response right i'll be using this only so let me copy the path so right click copy as path and just open the jmeter file name save it remove the double quotes so now, here I can add a HTTP request from a sampler. You can add assertions in the sampler itself or you can add assertions in from the thread group. If you are adding from thread group, what all the samples are present, it will be applicable just like a global variable. If you are adding assertions in a particular sampler, particular HTTP request, it will be only applicable for this. So let me write dollar what it will be it is a protocol we are using dollar right we are, i'm taking it from csv file so dollar so it will be url and this is dollar params so now let me a simple listener which is uh, view results tree so let me execute this i don't want to save the data so we got http request now see request so countries api we have hit and this is the response data so now what we are going to do we will add a listener so add assertions we'll add a assertion you can see response assertion which is on the top so what response assertion we need so we'll We'll keep the defaults, we'll write response code and we'll write patterns to test. Let me add. So I'm checking for 200. So let us write 200. So this is the response code we want to check. For viewing the sessions, we can we can add one more uh, view, like just a listener. Assertions, listener, it will be there. So assertion results. So now let me close this let me execute it now see it got passed now see the assertions uh, so one more thing we have to add we have to write equals not as a substring so let me go to view results tree let me close this so let me execute it don't want to save it so yeah it got passed so for the timing let us add uh, so response code as 201 and we'll see how the results are now so let me execute it now so i don't want to save it so it should fail you can see the response session what it is received is 200 and comparison we have got 201 in the session results you can see the results so this is the re re response assertion test failed due to what we have given we wanted to compare with 201 we have we have got 200 so in companies guys we will be using this for 200 itself because we may get 401 unauthorized 400 bad request 500 internal server error but response assertion will make us to identify bulk requests so let me okay so in order to test this properly let me go to assertions here let me write 50 or 40 threads so 40 users i am going to run so let me uh, remove this so let me execute it so 
one way or another see why it's got failed see response assertion we got four to nine here also response assertion we got some other requests see in the assertion results you can see four zero four two nine is the code which we got so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe till then guys take care have a great day bye bye